let's see how we could make a map legend and to do this I'm going to take this basic uh, map of Africa that we've been working with and I'm going to make a choropleth map out of it based on the population of the countries uh, first I'm going to set the um, graduated colors symbolization on here and uh, choose a classification method let's say equal interval with four classes and um, I need to change the field here of course to population estimate so we've got four classes here um, unfortunately when I change the field it set it back so be careful now I've got to go back and put equal interval on there and um, I really do not like this color ramp it's super bright so I want one of these ones down here that came from color brewer these look way better um, so let's try like a red purple one great so the equal intervals that were calculated are down here these are not nice round numbers um, we can put something a little more intuitive on here maybe we'll just round it to the number of millions of people so uh, this one I could round to something like 37 million and I really don't need decimals on there when it's uh, dealing with individuals um, not possible to have half a person. Uh, let's change this to 75 million. Uh, this one, uh, let's change that to 112 million. And this one, uh, we'll put it uh, 150 million. I wouldn't want to round down or I would miss a, a data value in my classes there. Uh, so if I did this right, uh, the map should look the same uh, or similar. Uh, I've just made nicer values here. Notice that the label has changed. So uh, this over here is what's going to be in the legend. And this is a little problematic here. Uh, I'm not crazy about the map legend just showing less than or equal to some number, especially with a decimal dot zero zero. So I'm going to change the label to what I want to have show in the legend for each of these classes. Let me move this over a bit so we can get a better view. So here, um, the label, I'm going to put 0 to 37 million. And I can, I can type the word million. That's fine here. In the label, I don't need to have all digits. I can have text. Um, I could even say 37 million people if I wanted to do that. Um, here, let's do something like 37 to 75 million. Great, so now I've got all my labels on there, and uh, that was most of the work that I'll need for making a legend. Let's go ahead now and make a layout for this. We're going to uh, choose new layout. Let's put it on a letter piece of paper. Uh, again, this is going to be a review from what we did in other videos. So I insert the map frame, activate it so that I can zoom a little bit. Let's zoom out. I've got a great space down here where I'm going to put that legend. Okay, now I need to close the activation so that I can work with the layout again. And I'm going to go to the Insert menu, and here's where I can go to Insert Legend. And I just draw a box where I want that legend to be on the map. So uh, it gives me just this default legend, but notice that it took my label value. So 37 to 75 million, that's great. That's what I typed in the label box, and that's what I wanted. Uh, I can go to the format tab here and there's some characteristics of the legend that I could change for example if I want to change the font uh, I actually think this looks pretty good right now um, I do want to change this this is somebody looking at the map it's not gonna like these underscores they won't know what this means um, so I, I want to modify this text now right now I can't do that but I can do it if I convert this legend to graphic elements that I can then manipulate so what you need to do at this point is right click your legend and choose convert to graphics now this is just like we did with labels we're getting the best automated creation that we can get and then we're gonna manually convert it to some graphics that we can can modify so we got the legend here that close to how we wanted it now we're gonna convert to graphics and right click again and say ungroup 
that gives me all these uh, graphics watches uh, ungrouped so I can uh, manipulate each one. For example, I don't need this. I'm just going to hit the delete key and delete it. And this one, I want to modify the text. So I'm going to say, um, something like population in country and I can move this down if I didn't have a lot of room I could uh, take these elements I'm pushing the shift key I can move them over here that might be necessary if I was putting legend along the bottom like this whoops I moved everything so if you select too much just Try again, push the uh, shift key, grab what you need, and you can move it down. There's some nice guidelines on the map that will help you line everything up. Okay, so this is how you can add a legend and then uh, manipulate it and make it look really nice on your map layout environment.